Good morning. We're getting ready to go out to the Bath and Body Works candle sale. And let me tell you, by the time this bit show comes out, it'll be Monday. Because I've decided if I do Vlogmas, which, okay, I'm committing to do it, so let me stop saying if. As I do Vlogmas, I am going to do it on weekdays. So, um, by the time you see this, the candle sale over. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be waiting on me to be that one to put y'all on. You know, usually if I know something, I share something. But in this case, like I said, it's, it's a vlogmas thing. Don't blame Kimberly, okay? You, sh you shouldn't be home. Why you ain't know? Everybody else in the mama done gone to the candy sale. Why you ain't know? But anywho, I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to, um, you know what? <laughs> I picked up a bunch of stuff. If you've been watching I, um, my first vlogmas, I picked up some things for my classroom. But not my house so now i want to just pick up a little bit um it's just me so it's a small cozy house i don't need a whole lot of stuff and in fact i've given much of my stuff to my daughter um because you know she's got my little granddaughter and then um some of the other stuff it was just kind of a mindset of out with the old and i'll get some new so it's time to get some new i i, I should have done that after Christmas. That would have been smarter, but I didn't. We're here now, and I'm going to go get some stuff. So I'm doing that. I probably need to pick up a couple of things for groceries because I seriously doubt I'm going to want to get out Saturday and get back out Sunday, and I'm, I'm just, I'm not that active. I'm not that, that's not me. So yeah, we're going to do that and come along with, I don't know how much footage I'll get and cover it because sometimes as I'm looking for stuff, I have not yet developed the skill of really carrying the camera, talking to you all, showing you what I'm looking at and shopping and putting, I'm, I'm not that good at that. So um, we'll see what we get and hopefully we enjoy, all right? Let's go. Every candle sale, I swear I'm going to experiment and I'm going to try different scents. But I always end up going back to my usual suspect. I will say what's different though is sometimes the scents that I loved before, like this peach bellini, don't hit for me like they used to. And I don't know if that's me changing or them changing the scent a little. But some things just don't change. Can you point me toward my he mahogany teak wood and flannel? Mahogany teak wood, it looks like we're out of or being that. Oh! Uh -huh. Well, flannel is going to be on this table right here with the Japanese cherry blossom on the back. Thank you. Perfect. Not that out of my mahogany teak wood. isn't just about the kids oh okay they're getting inclusive for real for real about time okay it's like y'all don't know it but it's a few hours later and i'm back and i still got the hat on because it's a whole situation under there we we we're gonna do something with it later probably not today we, we'll reset it on sunday how about that but in the meantime pay no attention to all this stuff back here i'll probably just do a pan out and show you guys what i got but I did do my candle sale and I got flannel. The face isn't because I don't like flannel. I do. I don't like, I don't like the, the container. I don't like the new decoration for it. I mean, I get it. It's flannel, but just, just but. And it smells so good to me. And I had to be careful because some of the scents don't smell the way they used to. I wound up getting three of these because actually when the candle sale is like this, I go ahead and stock up for the year. I have tried buying candles from, so the Walmart candles don't smell as good as they used to. They're a whole lot cheaper, but they just don't do that projection that I really like anymore. And then I've bought candles from Marshalls and Ross and all the same thing. They smell good in the container, but they don't project as well. This right here, Projection City. I just find that I tend to veer toward 
scents with patchouli, bergamot, mahogany, and all of that. Speaking of which, I was so heartbroken when they told me they were out of mahogany teak wood. I was like, dang, really? Like, that's the one I really like the most because of the way it cuts through the smell of seafood. I'm one of those people, I like to cook, of course, I like to eat. But I don't like my house to smell like what I'm cooking and eating. I like when I'm done with the meal, I want to be all the way done. I don't want my house smelling like that no more. So when they told me they were out of mahogany teak, well, I was really disappointed. Then I just, you know, wound up going around. And one thing I like is all the candles have their own distinct uh, wrapping and labeling and stuff. So I go over to an area and I'm like, okay, that that doesn't fit with the rest of them. It's tucked all back in a way, but I still kind of eyeballed it as I was looking. Why did it turn out to be my mahogany teak wood? So I see it and I pick it up and the guy who worked there gave me a look like, ooh, you heifer. I look right back at him like, ooh, you right. So you must have been the one uh, that he edited it, but I found it. So I got it. I got two of those and then I got my sun-drenched linen. Love that. It's just such a nice clean scent it's good for my bedrooms and my bath it just smells smells like what it says linen but you know what my grandmother used to hang her laundry outside i do not like the smell of outside on my clothes so don't let the name fool you it says sun drenched but it does not it doesn't have that outdoorsy smell pure linen just linen and then i went out on a limb with this one because i love the smell of coconut and of course i like mahogany so I got mahogany coconut and I like it. I'm hoping it projects. It, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Because if I'm being honest with regard to my candles, I tend to veer toward more masculine scents um, throughout my house. Now in my bedroom, I like it to be more feminine. I don't know. I don't know why it's just that way. And then I think the bug got into me because I don't usually do fruity scents, but I went ahead and got black cherry Merlot. I like it. I wonder what the notes are in it. I'm guessing I'm just drawn toward the, definitely the cherry. When I say it smells like a Merlot, I don't know. I don't really know what Merlot smells like because I'm going to drink Merlot. But I do like the smell of this. It's it's very sweet, and to me, this is about as seasonal as it's going to get. I was so happy because in um, Christmas or December's past, they have put the seasonal scents on three-week sale and not all of the scents. But when I went to my store today, all of the scents were on sale, and I'm so glad about it because I definitely picked up the stuff that I like. I'm stocked up for the year. I should be good to go. Every so often, I also like to burn incense and things like that. But yeah, this this has got me right. But let's take a look at some of the other stuff I got. I feel like I need to change. I don't like being out and about, but anyway, we'll see what I do. But we'll take a look at other stuff I've gotten. Drive along in December rain. That play my favorite song I see a snowflake melt on the deck I'm awful cold And longing for the holiday Counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may stop a light But together we're alright You know Okay, so for my flowers of the week, I just went with red roses because I feel like it goes along with my theme of my little Santa Claus. Oops, let me wave my hand and get that light to come back on. There we go. It goes with my Santa Claus and I found those cute little mugs along with, I found those at either Marshalls or Ross. My wreath I found at Target. It was about 20 bucks. These two glasses, I replaced my wine rack with these glasses, and that Christmas tree is actually a candle that'll never get lit. has a ton of glitter on it, though. And then I found a nutcracker. This was at Target. And you know what I wish? I wish that the nutcrackers were paper towel rolls. Like, wouldn't that be a better thing than 
an obvious paper towel roll, but not the case. So it just goes there and I keep the paper towel roll. Then over here, this is just where I put the seasonings that used to be over there. And this is the wine rack that was in that corner. So nothing outlandish or life-changing, you know, but just a little touch of Christmas in my kitchen. Went with the red and gold theme because the red matches the tea kettle that I already have. Kept it simple, but I like it. Pick all the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss, I'm a nose If there's so magical, yeah, look Where we were small Someone's been here and there Oh no, not white. Uh no, that's no. Thank you so much for rocking out with me on day two of Vlogmas. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'd love to hear any comments that you have. Alright, so here's my finished Christmas tree. I consider it a fail because I didn't get to put the lights on. I wasn't going to put those white lights on there. Luckily, I have some at my school that should work since the fire department decided that we can no longer have them. And um, I need to bring those home anyway. So I'll just put those up. And yeah, I am going to consider this done. I did add a couple of red pillows. And I'm not sure I showed you that in the hall. But... I'm satisfied with the look so far. It's just a simple little look with red and gold. But anyway, hope to see you on day three. Take care.